The other concept that you will deal with in Trig in grade 10, and then not very often after that, is the idea of things being called opposite sides to the angle, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Now you can tell from my diagram on the right that the hypotenuse is clearly the same as the radius. Okay, so in this diagram with, I'm going to put a theta in standard position, I'm going to write that down because this works, the x, y and r work, if you have the angle drawn in standard position which means it goes from the zero and up and in this case an acute angle which is mostly what we deal with, then that in standard position gives us our x, y and r. But you could also have a random triangle drawn in a different context. So what you'll be doing towards the end of the section of trig is you'll be solving triangles in real life contexts. Okay, so in this context, we're going to be calling them something different. And I want to show you how it links to the standard position diagram. This one is more useful going forward, but you do have to be able to use these words as well. Okay, so obviously my hypotenuse is going to be my R. Okay, so I'm going to put here R, and I'm going to put equals H, the hypotenuse. Okay, so where we had sine, cos, and tan with X, Y, and R last time, we now have opposite adjacent hypotenuse, but these guys are interchangeable. Okay, I want you to understand that depending on where the triangle is in the space, your X and Y are not necessarily always opposite and adjacent. They can swap depending on where you've drawn your angle. Okay, so for theta, we know that we were calling this one y, all right? So the y distance here would be the opposite side. So in this triangle, the y would be the opposite side. And for theta, in this triangle, the x here would be the adjacent side. Adjacent means next to. But if you draw a triangle and it's not in standard position, so here let me draw an alpha in there, okay, then these words are more helpful, okay. So if I wanted to do my sine, cos and tan of alpha, then I would be using opposite adjacent and hypotenuse to be able to describe the various sides. So the way that it works here is that your sine of alpha in this case would be y over r in this diagram, but in this one it's opposite over hypotenuse. And there's some nice rhymes to remember these guys as well. And your cos function of alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse. So you can see that we are used to have R, I now have H. So the, the, the radius is always the hypotenuse, but it's not the same with X and Y. My tan of the is going to be opposite over adjacent. So that's O over H, that's A over H, and that's O over A. So the way I was taught to do this was to remember the mnemonic O hell another hour of algebra. And that's how you would use them if you were going to deal with triangles that are not in standard position. I've given this little triangle some numbers and we're going to now write down the three trig functions in terms of this triangle. Okay, so for this triangle, sine of alpha will be opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, and I'm going to create this repetition for myself as I continue to work with it. It's really, really worthwhile repeating so that you always know exactly what you're dealing with and you remind yourself of what you already know. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. Now I don't have it in the nice little format in standard position, so now I've really got to think. Sine of that angle is the opposite side to that angle. So it's the one where if you take from the corner and you go straight across, it's that side over there. So the sine of this alpha here would be opposite. So it's the 12. I'm not putting units in because we really don't use them very often. And they're not relevant. It's 12 over hypotenuse. And thank goodness the hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degrees. So that's cool. I can get that straight away. 
My cause of alpha, O hel another hour, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, which of the sides is adjacent to alpha? It's got to be the one just next to, just next to. So it is that five over there. And the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse, so that's all right. And then my tan alpha, O hel another hour of algebra, even though it's trig, and my opposite to that one was 12, and my adjacent to that one is 5. And then you will work with these fractions. Okay, so what we're doing is we're trying to understand how the functions of the angles give us fractions instead. And once you've got that idea in your head, you are well on your way to succeeding with trigonometry.